This is the Look Great Naked Cooking Show, and I'm your host, Nathan Chase Plummer. I will share with you my own healthy gourmet recipes straight from the Look Great Naked Cookbook series. These recipes require minimal prep time and are sure to impress your friends. We will also provide you with the macronutrients to keep you informed on what's going into your body. Along with the freshest ingredients, we will help you pick the healthiest options. Join us each week as we provide you with the tools to look great naked. Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of the Look Great Naked Cooking Show. Today we're going to be making spicy crabs balls. This recipe is from the Look Great Naked Seafood and Cocktails book. And here's what you need if you want to play. We need six ounces of crab meat. You can also use imitation crab meat. It works out the same in the recipe. We're going to need one whole egg, two tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs. I always refer to breadcrumbs as Hansel and Gretel GPS. Find your way home. We need two tablespoons of horseradish sauce, two tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt. And remember, we love Greek yogurt because it has double the protein and less calories. We need a third, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We're going to be using sriracha just for garnish. Unless you like Marilyn Monroe and you love it hot, some like it hot. We need a quarter teaspoon of Worcestershire. We know I struggle saying that, so we like to say whores in the shire. We also need one teaspoon of Italian herb dry seasoning one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, and then half a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right guys, let's get cooking. <laughs> Gosh, of course that was in my eyeball. All righty guys, and I am going to show you the proper way to crack an egg. On the corner of something, just do one slam, make it hard and drop that baby into the bowl. Clean, two halves, not my first rarity. Okay, that was. Now we're gonna go to a few of my friends who are gonna show you how not to crack an egg. Hey, Nate, is uh, this how you do it? Alrighty guys, we are going to throw this concoction together. So first we are going to take that properly cracked egg and we are also going to throw in the horseradish. as well as the plain Greek yogurt. And now with the egg in there, we're going to beat it like a red-headed stepchild. You want to get the egg fluffy. It helps throw the batter together. Don't worry, you're just going to be flinging this shit all over the place. <laughs> Like I said, watch out guys. Woo! Okay, now we are going to add the seasoning. Just throwing it in there. The horse to shire. Horse of the shire. Again, I always go back to just Harlots frolicking through a Lord of the Rings type scenario. Alright guys, and then we're also going to add the breadcrumbs. Hansel and Gretel, GPS. Always find your way home. We're gonna give that a little mix. Alright guys, now we're gonna take the crab and you wanna break it up into smaller pieces. It just shreds. 
And so we're just gonna make it into more manageable sizes because when you shape the balls into like a subtle, supple shape, if we've got big chunks of crap, it, it just won't happen. Right now's a good time to sing your favorite Little Mermaid songs. Kiss the girl. Under the sea. What have you. And for those of you that have read the Look Great Naked seafood and cocktails, you know that I always call the seafood merman food or mermaid food. So this is one of our favorite merfolk recipes. So Mama Plumber always calls hors d'oeuvres horty orbies. So this is a good horty orby recipe, as she would say. For parties, hanging out, serve with drinks. Now we're just going to mix this up together. Even here you can shred it up a little bit more. With your fork. We don't want it too liquidy, so the breadcrumbs act as a binding agent. Help soak in all the goody goodness. And then we are going to pan these suckers. It's just easier to use your hands. So we're gonna be trying to make little one inch balls. One inch-ish, I mean all of us lie. About sizes around here. guys we have our spicy crabs balls and we are going to throw these into the oven on broil for five minutes turn it up to the hottest that your broil setting will go keep an eye on them we want lightly golden balls alrighty guys these spicy crabs balls are ready to come out of the oven had them on broil for the last five minutes the tops have started to go lightly golden brown and we're gonna plate these babies up all right guys we have them all plated up Now we are just going to garnish with a little bit of sriracha. Okay guys, get creative. Draw some hieroglyphics. Act like we're a culinary school. Alright guys, and the serving size for these is half of the amount shown. They're super low calories. They're on page 17 of this book, but the calories are awesome. They're only 82 calories, 16 grams protein, zero carbs, and 1.5 grams fat. So, swimsuit season is upon us. And also, I recommend only putting two balls in your mouth at once. Anything more than that is just too much, guys. But thanks for joining me on another episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, and remember, don't settle for just looking great. Look great naked. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next episode.